This is Matt with Mel Express Radio. I have with me Freddy of Thonic. How are you doing today, man? Great. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, just uh, keep myself busy, but yeah, great. And the band recently headlined the Megaport Festival. How was it not only just headlining a festival during these times, but getting out and getting to play a show, given what the world's been through the past year? Yeah, I think uh, I, I feel very grateful when I step on the stage. And uh, 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 because not just, although Taiwan has been known that we... Um, we maintain the situation quite well, but still we uh, have uh, some big events has been canceled last year. And since last uh, summer, some uh, big events started to get back. And so people started to go to the movies and go to the baseball games and some uh, exhibitions. So uh, Make Up For Festival is the first mass outdoor festival has been held uh, scheduled so yeah i feel very grateful but uh so i i cherish the the uh i cherish the communication and uh, the energy uh, exchanging between me uh us on the stage and the audience but also i i feel like to cheer up the those metalheads who watch the show through live broadcast. So I, I feel, I feel, not just like, uh, not just like playing on the stage, but I feel more, I more I, uh, I feel more I want to engage with the fans, no matter they are uh, in the f- uh, front of us or through the internet. Were there other bands that you got to check out at the festival that you've never got to see or hear before? I have I have checked out some some bands, but uh, since the, the people know me quite well, and I so I I didn't really want to. Uh, there, uh, it's, it would be very difficult for me to 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 check out bands uh, without being been asking photos or selfies so for me i i i try to check check uh i i have tried to check out bands uh on the side stage uh besides the stage not uh, not in front of the uh, not with the crowds but i still i because it's it's something that uh we couldn't imagine that we can have this kind of time uh during the pandemic so i still cherish the opportunities to to enjoy the music and yeah so so it was quite uh so i spent two days there not just for my own show on saturday but i spent two days and enjoy music by the stage (laughs) and i know it's been put out there that the band record a live album during the festival when can fans expect that may 19th so uh fans can uh, watch online on youtube or they can uh, listen uh on spotify or any other platforms does the band have any other live shows planned anytime soon or um, not really i i think uh after i got elected as a member of the parliament in taiwan we stay quite uh, low profile and so we didn't uh, play too much. So this this is a, a very spo- special show that we really want to share this moment with the fans because it's really something that happening, meaning a lot for Taiwanese and also for the metalheads. Uh, not just in Taiwan, I've, I, I feel like it's, it's very important for the metalheads around the world as well, for, for those people who, who uh, expect to get back to the to the normal lives to enjoy live shows so we hope that this show so so that's why we uh, decided to play the show and to want to cheer up more people want to let people feel engaged with music music and to remember how it feel to 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 enjoy live metal shows how has it been juggling becoming a parliament along with the band and everything yeah, I, I try to uh, uh, manage my time 
better than I used to be. And so I most most of the daytime I spend uh, I work in the parliament and doing as a member of the parliament. But during the nighttime, I try to. Uh, in one hand, I have to take care of my daughter. I had a daughter. I have a daughter now. But in the other hand, I try to still work on some new materials with our guitarist. So yeah, it has been much more busy than before. But I, I try to stay who I am and can focus on the issues I concern. But also, I can still uh, express my feelings and emotions through music. So it, it has been quite slow writing new materials. But yeah, we are we, uh, the band is still, still doing something new. Is there anyone that you would want to tour with, whether it would be headlining or playing support to someone that you have not been able to play with yet? <sighs> I think uh, sl <laughs> Slayer, but they have stopped. So <laughs> Slayer would be one of my most wanted uh, band to play with, but they stopped. Anything can happen, you know. I mean, I'm sure retirement does get boring. <laughs> yeah, and the bands got reunited uh, a lot recently. So hopefully that would be great. For anyone that's unfamiliar with a band, what is one album that you would recommend to a new fan? Uh, Takasago Army, uh, which has been released in 2011. And obviously being such a unique band, how is it? just getting to tour the world like comparing like shows from your home state versus coming to america to play in taiwan or even in the countries close to taiwan like uh japan or hong kong or or maybe singapore or these asian countries the fans here they not just they they will they will come to the they will they come to the show and come to the after party to discuss some serious shit with me some some ideas uh, behind the lyrics but the fans outside of the, uh, this area that the uh, more like the the fans in the united states they discuss more about the riffs more about the structures of the songs and more about the melodies and so they so i can see that they they the the people here they concern more of the uh, of the meanings of the songs but the, the fans in the west they can they they are more interested in the the music at this time if there's nothing that we've gone over that you like to throw in go right ahead oh i just I hope that the uh, fans, the metalheads, can still remember how it felt to uh, in the shows and can uh, try to enjoy music online. But yeah, if if there is opportunity, come out to support shows, to support the show business and the bands. And yeah, we uh, things will get back soon. Things will get better and let's uh, united. Let's get united. Now, my last question I have for you, since forming in 1995 and you being the only original member, what has been the key to keeping the longevity with a band? I think to, uh, to treat the band members like your family. <laughs> I think, yeah, we are like brothers and sisters now. So, uh, yeah, things, things going up and down and good things happen and bad things happen, but but it's just like if you realize that a band just like a family, then yeah, you, yeah, you you t you, you uh, always take to good care of each other, no matter it's good or bad. Things happen. Hey, thank you so much for your time. It's been great talking to you. Uh, best wishes to you and the whole Thonic camp and your thank friends you. and your family during the, the pandemic. Glad to see that you guys are still on your feet. I saw you back in 2011 with Arch Enemy. You guys were awesome. Also, the year OzFest was free uh, back in 2007. That was my first time seeing and hearing you guys. And such a unique uh, experience getting to see you live. Thank you. Yeah, I wish we can yeah, go back to the United States, play more shows soon. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you, my, my friend. Pleasure.